With WKUF News, I'm David Jackson for Tuesday, May 24th, 2016. The last Flint fire station acting as a water distribution site is closing at the end of this week. Michigan Public Radio reports that Michigan National Guardsmen have been handing out bottled water and filters at the site for months. But according to General Gary Vadness, their mission is drawing to a close. An unconfirmed report notes that the site will be closing on Thursday at noon. However, water resource locations are already available throughout the city to replace the water resource at Fire Station No. 3 on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Residents who wish to find their nearest water resource site can call 211 for more details. The TSA's top security chief was removed from office yesterday in the wake of oversight committee scrutiny. The Washington Post reports that TSA Administrator Peter Neffinger sent an email to his staff announcing changes, including the removal of Kelly Hagen, the Assistant Administrator for the Office of Security Operations. Hagen was responsible for overseeing the security operations of the TSA, and during his tenure, the controversial body scanners were introduced, wait times and security checkpoint lines ballooned, and employees who blew any sort of whistle against wrongdoing within the organization were allegedly punished per his instruction. Beginning in late 2013, Hagen received a $90,000 bonus over a 13-month period, despite a leaked Department of Homeland Security report that said that 95% of covert tests were successful in getting weapons past security. Representative Jason Chaffetz of Utah, the committee's chairman, said that these bonuses were given to somebody who oversees a part of the operation that was in total failure. Former and current employees say that Neffinger is only doing this because the TSA has lost confidence in his leadership ability and alleged that he is attempting to deflect blame away from himself. And according to airport security officials, the move is too late to make a difference for the summer travel season. The House Judiciary Committee is expected to discuss the possibility of impeaching the head of the IRS, John Koskinen. The New York Times reports that the case against Mr. Koskinen focuses on testimony he gave to Congress in connection to the IRS allegedly targeting in 2009 conservative groups, human rights activists, and open source software developers. The IRS admitted that the testimony given was false and offered an official apology, and the Justice Department found that the IRS was guilty of mismanagement, but not of a crime, and therefore did not bring any charges. Representative Levin of Michigan says that this inquiry is nothing more than political witch hunts, while Representative Jim Jordan of Ohio says that Congress knows that the IRS targeted people's First Amendment rights through systematically denying people's free and political speech rights. And Representative Chaffetz added his own opinion, saying that since neither the FBI nor the president will act on the IRS head lying to Congress, he and his colleagues have no other remedy than to impeach Koskinen. Veterans Affairs Secretary Robert McDonald pushed back against pressure for further transparency by saying that veterans should be happy with the care that they get and not worry about how long their waits have been. The Washington Post reports that McDonald told reporters at a breakfast sponsored by the Christian Science Monitor that the government should be more like Disney and stop paying attention to the wait in line for attractions and focus instead on how well the customers liked the attraction itself. The comments drew immediate backlash from congressmen, including House Speaker Paul Ryan, who responded to the statement saying that this is not make-believe, Mr. Secretary. Veterans have died waiting in those lines. Whistleblowers recently revealed that VA employees in Phoenix and at other hospitals across the country were forging appointment dates, forcing veterans to wait an unreasonable amount of time before receiving care. That scandal cost former VA Secretary Eric Shinseki his job. In the aftermath of that scandal, the VA says that wait times for care have shortened. However, a recent report by the Government Accountability Office criticized the method that the agency used to calculate wait times, saying that it does not include all the time necessary between making the appointment and actually meeting with a physician. For the proverbial record, the Washington Post noted that Disney does, in fact, collect and analyze waiting time data and has a system in place to address any excessive lines. And finally, the Justice Department has proposed a rule that would make the FBI's biometrics database exempt from the Privacy Act. According to the FBI's website, the database, known as the Next Generation Identification System, is an incremental replacement of the fingerprint identification system. The data collected includes advanced fingerprint ID, the interstate photo system, and iris recognition technology. The proposed rule says that in order to protect the FBI's mission to protect national security, the Justice Department is proposing an exemption from the Privacy Act in order to keep the details of investigation techniques a secret in order to prevent people from finding ways to avoid detection. 
For more information about today's stories, visit WKUF.FM. I'm David Jackson.